What's going on guys? So I've had the Pulsar LT installed on my truck for about 10,000 miles now. So I guess it's time to update y'all on how I have enjoyed it because I constantly get a bunch of questions asking about all the functions that it offers. Do I enjoy it? Does it void your warranty? And do I recommend you buy it? So I'm going to give my full input on it today. Some of the features that I absolutely love and could not live without and uh, my overall opinion. But if you're not familiar, it's this little guy right here. It is an inline module and it has a bunch of different features that are really, really awesome that we're gonna jump into, but it's directly plug and play, super easy install. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you wanna check it out. Um, this is gonna be for any of the newer trucks, aside from the classics that have the old 5.3 and the six speed. The same company has a small module for those trucks, but it only disables AFM, whereas this has a bunch more features. This is a 6.2 with the 10 speed, but 5.3s are affected just the same. So we're gonna go over the features in no particular order. So we're gonna start with the first being the speed limiter. You can actually adjust it up or down. So depending on your truck, it'll either be 98 miles an hour or 112. And that's not fast enough for some people. But at the same time, it also might be too fast for let's say you let your son borrow your truck or something. So you can actually turn it down to 82 miles per hour, I believe, or you can turn it up to 140 miles an hour. So depending on what you do with your truck, maybe you like cruising down the interstate really fast or maybe you like drag racing, you might be going faster than that 90, 98 mile an hour and now you can turn it up all the way to 140. I've got mine turned up all the way to 140. Why not, right? So the next feature is gonna be something I've really not used yet because I've had no need to, but it is cool that it is a feature. So you can adjust your TPMS sensor level from one PSI all the way up to 99 PSI. So for whatever reason, if you need to run less or higher pressure than the factory without triggering the light, you can actually adjust it. So I guess it's a pretty cool feature. Like I said, never personally had to use it, but if there is a case where you need to, it's good that you can. So the next feature is something I use all the time and it's absolutely awesome that you can use it on here. So if you're new to the channel, we change wheels and tires in this truck constantly. So what does that mean? Our speedometer is off a lot, right? Well, with a Pulsar, you can actually adjust it for whatever wheel and tire size you get. So let me look real quick. You can go from a 29 inch all the way to a 50 inch. So you can go much smaller or much larger, right? And that's awesome because the last thing you want to do is be stuck cruising down the road at your gauge saying 60 and you're actually going 67 or something like that. Like that's annoying. That's kind of an old thing where you had to do. Um, sometimes you can go to the dealership and they can recalibrate it or you can get an actual ECU tune and they'll adjust it specifically for that. But not all the times can you adjust it like this. I can adjust this on the fly. If I go change my wheels and tires today, boom five seconds i've swapped over to the new one my speedometer is now correct all right this is going to be the biggest and best feature number three it no longer allows radar detector to work on your truck not really i watched me get pulled over for saying that not really i'm joking so you can adjust your tire size the next feature allows you to adjust your axle ratio so there's currently i don't think any available axle changes on the four wheel drive trucks of this body style but in the future there of course will be and so they already have this field this feature built in so if it, for whatever reason down the road i want to throw a 373 or a 410 in here we can adjust for it. Our speedometer will be correct. Our truck will be happy knowing what exactly it has. That's a great feature to have for in the future. So next we're gonna get to the two features that you adjust and then forget about and it's awesome. So the first being you can disable DFM, Dynamic Fuel Management. This is a feature that comes from the factory. Well, it used to, now that the chip shortage is in, it doesn't really. Um, but if your truck comes with DFM working, it actually shuts your V8 down to all the way to a two cylinder, right? So if you're cruising like I am right now, barely breathing on the throttle, it'll jump it down to four or two cylinder. The previous was AFM and it just went down to four. Well, now it goes down to two and it also changes different um, sequences of the firing. So it's supposedly better for the engine. It works smoother, but at the end of the day, it is annoying. You're cruising, you wanna you know, romp on it want to swerve around somebody and accelerate well it's got to swap back to v8 then it's got a downshift and there's a laggy area there that is super annoying it's noticeable and let's be honest we want our trucks v8 all the time especially if you got an exhaust you want it in v8 all the time so to be able to disable dfm and forget about it it's great i've not noticed any fuel economy difference when turning it off so tell me dfm's actually working 
I think it's a big conspiracy thing to get by with government regulations, so whatever the case. Um, speaking of fuel economy, we have 35s on this truck, but as of right this moment, it's reading 15.5. So 15.5 in a 400 plus uh, horsepower truck, can't really complain. The next feature that you want to disable and forget about is stop start. So you do have a button down here that disables the auto stop start. So if you pull up to a stop sign, a red light, whatever, you know, it turns off, right? Well, if you have exhaust or if you just are a normal human being that just gets annoyed by stuff sometimes, that gets annoying, right? So to be able to, like DFM, disable those two features and then forget about dealing with them, it's great. Because personally, I would like my truck to be in V8 and not turn itself off from the factory. So to be able to do that now, I love it. So honestly, the last feature I'm gonna speak about is probably my favorite and what I could honestly probably not live without. So the throttle sensitivity adjustment. There's five different parameters where you can adjust. Um, I, I don't remember specifically, but I think the first one is like stock. Then it gradually gets more intense on how sensitive the gas pedal is to the throttle input. So this module does not actually increase your horsepower at all but it feels like it does for sure it makes a truck much more enjoyable to drive much more sporty i usually leave mine on three which is i can't remember how sensitive that is but it's the best feeling that's not too much but it's definitely much more increased from stock so that paired with putting this thing in sport mode all the time dude it feels great i also somehow forgot to mention if you bump your throttle sensitivity up way high it allows you to do a much much easier and better burnout to report the recon grapplers do a nice smoky burnout <laughs> yes sir they do you will get kind of used to this but if you go back to driving it without it you will 100 percent notice the huge impact that it has so i drove my father-in-law's stock trail boss the other day dude you got to push the daggum pedal like half an inch to an inch to get it to do anything right now you turn this thing up the moment you start getting into the throttle it starts reacting and that's exactly what you want you don't want this big lame lazy dead pedal you want it to give it the gas and it starts moving like i'm i'm barely into the gas pedal y'all until you've driven it with the throttle sensitivity bumped up you will not know how much more you will enjoy your truck between turning off dfm turning off stop start and then adjusting your throttle sensitivity it's like a completely different truck i a hundred percent say you should buy the Pulsar LT for those specific three things because you will really, really enjoy your truck. If you if your truck is just a meh, point A, point B, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm kind of zoned out while driving, maybe it's not for you. If you actually get into your vehicle to relieve stress, to enjoy driving, and to just experience a nice truck that feels like a real nice truck, dude, you will 100% get your money's worth out of a Pulsar LT. I mean, I, Think about how many features I just named off. You're getting multiple different products in one product, right? Like you can get a module that turns off stop start. You can get a module that increases your throttle sensitivity. You can get a module that maybe turns off DFM, but this has everything built into one. I can't really say if it's gonna void your warranty, but I can say this, it is easy enough to simply unclip, put your stock one in there, that if you ever go to the dealership, just un unplug it you can go a day with it back to stock right and then you get your you know whether you're dropping your truck off for an oil change or you know it's getting a warranty recall or whatever the guy or it, it drops a lifter i don't know anything can happen my truck specifically um just unplug it take it to the dealership they're not going to know this module is supposedly untraceable so they can't see like if you did actually tune your ecu it'll leave a code in there that they can actually see this is warranty friendly in my opinion if you use your noggin and actually just take 10 seconds to unplug it take your truck to the dealership 
get it back from the dealership, plug it back in, and go about your day, right? Pretty basic. For those that might be wondering, does this product save you from a potential lifter failure? No, I can speak from experience. If you are unfortunate like myself and get a from the factory weak lifter, it's gonna fail whether or not you have this or any other product. It's just one of those things. If it's gonna fail, it's gonna fail. Um, I had DFM disabled when mine failed. There's thousands of people I see all the time, like one or two a day on the uh, Trail Boss Trail Boss or Silverado page, um, saying that theirs was completely stock and it failed. So it doesn't matter if it's gonna fail, it's gonna fail. Quickly, I'm gonna show y'all just how easy it is to get into the feature screen and adjust everything and as well adjust your throttle sensitivity. So with your truck powered off, just go ahead and hit your ignition. Do not hit the brake. We wanna get into accessory mode. So now that we've done that, we wanna come over here and hold cruise cancel. You wanna make sure cruise control is not on or this won't work, or at least it doesn't for me. Hold that, our gauge will sweep. We've now entered into where we can adjust our features. You wanna turn things on or off, change your tire size, your TPMS, all those different things. There's different numbers. Link in the description to the original install video where I can go into more details and actually show y'all how to program all these individual features. But that's how you get into it, dude. So how to get out of there, just gonna hold cruise cancel again. It'll sweep, be done, boom. All right, so that's that. Turn your truck off, open your door, you know, let her power down the normal way. Now go ahead and crank it back up. And so with cruise control off, it's this simple to adjust your throttle sensitivity. It goes from zero to five. So watch that with this, boom. We're now at position four on throttle sensitivity. You can go up to five, super rowdy, super outrageous. Uh, go all the way down to zero, which I think is stock. Just like that, on the fly, while you're driving, adjust the throttle sensitivity. It's freaking awesome, I love it. I usually leave it on three. I feel like the truck performs the best on three. Feels nice and peppy, but it's not like five where it's just like you breathe on the throttle and it's doing a burnout. So with that being said, hopefully y'all did enjoy. Definitely comment down below and let the people know if you do have a Pulsar LT as well. Let them know your experience, what you think about it. Probably a lot of y'all gonna be on the same page as me and uh, just absolutely swear by it because I think it is probably one of the favorite things I've put on this truck. It just makes it so much better, I promise. So with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. Once again, another shout out to Pulsar for making this amazing product for us. And with that being said, see y'all in the next one. Bruh. Yup. What is that? Is that groundhog? What are you, bud? You look almost like a raccoon.